Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Raccoon's Den. I'm Bandit. I'm Static. And I'm Abby. And I'm BCB. And welcome to season eight. It's finally here. Woo! Yeah. Today's episode, we're going to talk about Create a Block, <laughs> which happens to a lot of people in the fandom, including us. Shout out to Ace of Hearts Fox, who actually did a video on Writer's Block. Pretty much the same thing. If you guys want to check out his video, check it out in the description down below. And we're going to be following up on one of his tips from his videos and add a few of our own. So with that being said, we're going to follow up with that one tip that Ace of Hearts Fox had in his video, which is mixing things up. Here's a clip what he got. Do you have Writer's Block? Then go on Reddit and check out some of their awesome writing problems. Are you having trouble writing music? Then play along to some songs that have chords that you don't know yet. Or maybe you're a furry YouTuber who couldn't think of a list to talk about this week. So you just talk about what's on your mind. Like for real, all I could think about this week was writer's block. So I figured, hey, might as well talk about that. So another way I would word this is improvising, which keeps you learning about what you love to do, but in ways you never expected. And it also helps promote self-expression, which can give you a unique twist on whatever project you're working on. It's also okay to retrace your steps. Staying in your comfort zone is not always necessarily a bad thing. You can always step out. Trying something new can help you think of new ideas and get you started on something else. It may not always come out the way you want it the first time, but that's okay. Just make sure you keep it practice it a little bit more and if you still don't like it, you can either start over or it can even lead to a brand new idea. Another tip that we wanted to go over is keeping track of your ideas through notes. And ideas can hit you whenever you least expect it, whether it be at school or at work. And if you're contemplating on the same idea for a few minutes, it probably would be a good idea to write it down. If you keep note of your ideas, try and categorize them in columns. Then list everything else that comes to mind. This can help build a more detailed layout of your project. Also, it helps to have that outline when you're busy with work and school because it's easy to forget those ideas when you're busy with your daily life. Bring us to our next tip is getting, getting organized, organized, which for some people I know can be very trisome. Finding the pattern of your workflow, breaking bigger tasks into smaller ones, and creating a to-do list are some of the many ways you can get yourself organized. It also can help avoid getting stuck in procrastination or just plain getting frustrated with having too much on your plate. Also, making schedules and deadlines is another great practice to pick up as it helps you make time for what you're doing without slipping up on your daily tasks. Planning and doing in the same day don't always go hand in hand, so don't try and push yourself too hard or rush things. Putting too much on your plate at once can result in burnout, which can zap your creativity and your interest in whatever you're doing all together. Plus, we're meant to notice and react to changes, so staying hooked on something can actually hinder your consistency. Pretty much. And with that, we're going to be closing our video here today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Woo! If you guys love this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more. And we'll see you guys next time.